the barbs is beefing with Nikki. The barbs is, was dragging Nikki all over Twitter the other day. Cause, cause she ain't go to the Met Gala. Now here's the thing. Some barb fan pages had a lot to say about Nikki not going to the Met Gala the other night. And a lot of people took the opportunity to really reveal their true feelings. Like there was a lot of courage behind those opinions. Now she's been blocking a lot of pages real recently. Like she's been making a lot of tweets. I think that the, the whole uh, thing she was tweeting about because yesterday the alone video dropped. Right. But at that time people weren't really worried about that. People were worrying, were still on the fact that she was not the Met Gala. So she was making like tweets saying, you know, I'm only answering questions if you use the hashtag alone. And people were using the hashtag alone video, but they were asking why wasn't she at the Met Gala? And uh, I'm going to let, I'm going to play this video by a uh, chief nosy bystander on TikTok. She really breaks down everything or breaks down a portion of what's been going on. You know, I've been trying to like find the posts where these people were wilding and dragging Nikki, but you know, they try to, they, they definitely cleaned their goddamn pages. Okay. Cause a lot of the stuff that I was seeing from a lot of these bar pages real, real is gone. Cause I, I was liking a lot of them you know, just to come back for reference. Cause I was thinking about doing a video about this, but then I was like, nah, but then now I'm going to do a video about it because it kind of was pissing me off. But basically a lot of the stuff is scrubbed. It was, I mean, there were Twitter spaces of people dragging, uh, and these were barbs dragging Nikki. Okay. Now I'm a, I'm a play this video cause it has a, a lot of the tweets on there and you can pause to read the, throughout that situation. And you know, we're going to come back. So everybody attended the Met Gala last night, except some notable players, including Nicki Minaj. And somebody had tweeted this and says, Nicki Minaj looks great at the Met Gala, showing the Met Gala carpet with obviously nobody there. And her fans weren't too happy that she didn't appear. On Twitter, you can see various people asking her tons of questions about why she didn't attend the Met Gala. Now, as you can see from this tweet, somebody asked her why she wasn't going to the Met Gala. And then they used this hashtag alone video. Now, the reason why people are using that hashtag alone video is because Nicki Minaj had tweeted this. She stated anyone not using the hashtag will be exiled. And then she says, talk to the dogs offline. She then followed up and said this, yes, hashtags only. Who has a good question? Shoot. And then as you can see from the various replies, a lot of people were not only using the hashtag, but they were still asking her why she didn't attend the Met Gala. And these are just various examples of all the people asking her these same questions, more questions, and even more questions. And because of this, a lot of the barbs, her followers, are dragging her across social media, including in held Twitter spaces. Now somebody said this, why didn't you attend the Met Gala and don't block me either, I'm a huge barb. Now all across Twitter, people are stating that Nicki Minaj is blocking her fans for asking her why she didn't attend the Met Gala. Met Gala. Child, it's messy. It's a mess indeed. Okay, cause <laughs> here's the thing, okay? I was also, I mean, I wasn't the ones that were like vocal about me not liking the fact that Nikki wasn't there. You know, I was disappointed, um, you know, cause I wanted to see what she had to, I really did. I really did think that she would want to come to this one in particular because it had to do with Carl Lagerfeld. And we all know that she and Carl actually know each other in real life. They knew each other in real life. They worked together on, um, a couple of occasions and it wasn't until I seen her post where she posted like a montage of different like pictures that he, that she took with him and she paired it with the caption. I set trends from Queens to Beijing. I'm not the one to do the imitating. I'm like, okay, now I get it. I get it because it's like, I'm not going to get hit. I'm not going to go to this damn show. It show my fake love by, by wearing an outfit that was supposed to be imitating the work that he did. I knew him in real life. Okay. And Y'all don't. Okay. <laughs> so I 100% after she said that, I was like, okay, now, now I, I have an idea of why she probably didn't go. Uh, maybe, or maybe she did want to go and something happened or whatever the case is. She didn't go. She a grown ass woman. She a mother. Ain't nobody. Well, at the time when I, when I realized she wasn't coming, I was like, well, you know, it's not, that's her business. You know, she never said she was going to be there. Okay. So there's no reason for us to really be mad, but you know, people 
were mad and they were getting a lot of things off their chest. Now I'm so sorry that I do not have the video footage of these people in this damn Twitter spaces. Cause it was real crazy. Dude was talking real crazy. I was like, girl, are th- is this a Twitter space full of barbs or Barty gangs? Cause I don't know the damn difference. Okay. As much as, and I don't want to get into what that person was saying. Cause they were saying some other stuff, but some of the stuff that they were saying that I will, that I will say was like, Oh, you know, well, she's not doing events no more. She's, she's not being in the limelight. Like, do you, she really want it? You know, she's lazy. She's working with D list celebrities and, and doing songs with them. You know, I guess it was talking, I guess they were talking about like ice spice or, or some of the other, or maybe what's her name? What's that girl name? Kim Petras. That's not really, you know, I was just like, Oh, y'all are saying what y'all have always wanted to say, but y'all now found the opportunity to say it. Okay. Wow. I mean, and it was a lot of tweets. It was a lot of tweets that, that during the night of and the day after she was trending. We all know that she was trending on Twitter, but she was trending because people were upset and people were like, Oh my goodness. Like where's she at? Like, why, why is she not there? You know, it, we all thought it was like a usual situation. Like, Oh my God, Nikki not showing up. Like, whatever but like i'm gonna read this tweet too and this is this one tweet that i did catch but the person said i honestly honestly think that it's time nikki put some distance between herself and the barbs your behavior today is unhealthy and dangerous like to be honest i thought we was just joking on here but it seems like things are really affecting y'all lives it's time to break that parasocial relationship and that's exactly what i thought when i when i was seeing a lot of stuff about you know, the barb saying what they were saying, or, and I'm not going to blame every barb. Like at the end of the day, like there are different, there's different levels. Okay. <laughs> there's different levels of our damn fan base. Okay. We got the, we got the ones that's okay. The ones that's regular. We, we here for the music. We here for her. We not here for the drama. And then there's some people that are just there. They, they make it their lives to, you know, like, like this person said on the tweet, like this parasocial relationship, which this is now becoming, it's getting like swarm at this point. Like <laughs> it's very much swarm behavior at, at this point. Cause girl, what do y'all, what, like, this is a grown ass woman that decided not to go to a show. I mean, she's been giving us content that whether or not you like the content that she's giving us, she is giving us content. It's getting real toxic. And Nikki was blocking a lot of y'all. She was blocking a lot of y'all pages. And I hope she does not unblock. <laughs> keep keep them away. I hope she do a DM Queen Radio and call out the duds and, and, and do all the stuff, all the things. Because, girl, we really out here doing this at our big ages. I mean, some of them could be kids. But this is just not, this This is ghetto. You know, this, this is, at the end of the day, she going, she going to show up to things and when she's going to show up to things and when she's not, she's not, you don't see the Rihanna fans. I mean, we, we found out that she came late, but we don't see Rihanna fans acting crazy. The Nate wasn't acting crazy. The beehive, the beehive understand like it's not guaranteed that she's going to show up at this point. At this point in her career, it's guaranteed that she's not going to show up. I didn't hear a peep from the beehive. Cause it was, it was rumored that Beyonce was supposed to be there too. She wasn't there. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to look It's people's barb cards are going to have to be revoked at this point. It's, it's definitely got to be re reevaluated. It's a lot going on child. A lot of y'all are saying, just like I said, just uh, the other stuff that they were bringing up. Okay. Your problem is not that she was going to Met Gala. You are having, you're having some type of issue with her one sided issue with her Cause she's not really caring about what's going on with y'all. So tell me what you guys think about this in the comments, child. Please be sure to like this video, leave a comment, because I know y'all will after this, child. And hit that subscribe button, okay? If you're not already subscribed, because we need more subscribers.